What's up guys? So I'm not sure if you're aware, but NASA has an API that gives you a different picture from a space every day. Today we're going to be using a serverless function along with this API to get a text every morning with a different picture from space. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to stick around for the rest of this video and you'll learn how to build this yourself. So first things first, what is a serverless function anyways? How it works is that you write a small unit of code with a specific and limited purpose and you deploy that code as a serverless function to a cloud service like AWS Lambda, Azure Functions, or Google Cloud Functions. It's important to note that a serverless function runs only when triggered by a specific event. Events can be any number of different things, like adding a record to a database, responding to an HTTP request, or a specific time of day, which we'll be using for this project. Whenever you develop a serverless function with JavaScript and Node.js, the serverless framework makes it really easy to write this code and deploy it to AWS Lambda. So we'll be using that for this project. The first step to take here is to get the serverless framework configured on your computer. I already had this set up, but it's pretty straightforward. I'll include a link to the steps you should follow in the description. Whenever you have the serverless framework installed and configured on your machine, the next step is to run the serverless command on a terminal window to create a new serverless project. We'll choose the AWS Node.js starter, call it NASA Daily Image, wait for this process to finish, answer any of the other prompts, choose no when asked if we want to deploy our code, and once this is done, we can start writing our function. You'll notice that a folder was created called NASA Daily Image. Within this folder, there are two important files. The first one is called handler.js, which will have the code for our function. And the second one is called serverless.yaml, which will have any necessary configuration for the function. So the first thing we'll do here is open up a new terminal window within this folder and run npm init to initialize npm and be able to install any external packages. Then we'll open up the handler.js file and empty out the function to write our code from scratch. The first thing we're gonna do here is make an HTTP request to the NASA API with the Axios library to get our daily image from space. So the first thing to do here on a terminal window will install the Axios library with NPM. After we do this, we now have to sign up for the NASA API. We'll fill out our information and then we'll get an access key to get access to this API. We'll copy this access key and add it to the serverless.yaml file as an environment variable. We'll then head back to our code import the Axios library, retrieve the NASA API access key from the environment, and make our request to the astronomy picture of the day endpoint. This will give us a JSON response, which will store in a variable called image data, and it will contain the date of the image for today, its title, its explanation, and most importantly, the URL of the image. We'll now use this information to send out our text, but we need the Twilio API to do this. So the first thing we have to do is sign up for the Twilio API and get a phone number. We can use their free trial for this. I'll include a link in the description with the instructions for this as well. Once we sign up, we'll need to verify our personal phone number to be able to send text to this number. And then we'll copy the account SID, auth token, and Twilio phone number that has been assigned to us. And we'll add all of these values to the serverless.yaml file as environment variables along with our personal phone number. Next, we'll install the Twilio library with NPM and now we can head back to the code. We'll then import the Twilio library, retrieve our new environment variables, and then orchestrate the text message which will say good morning, include the title of the day's image from space, and then an explanation for it. After this, we'll instantiate the Twilio client using the account SID and auth token, and then send a new Twilio text message containing the body we created and the URL of the image. We need to specify the Twilio phone number here and our personal phone number so that Twilio knows how and where to send the text. With that, our function is ready. The next step we have to take is set up an event that will trigger this function. I want this to run 8 a.m. every morning, Puerto Rico time, which is where I live. So we'll head over to our serverless.yaml file, add an events list, and then specify that our event will be a schedule and then specify what the schedule is with cron syntax. Cron is a standard way for specifying a schedule. The first value is for minutes, the second value is for hours, the third value is for day of the month, the fourth is for the month, 
the fifth for day of the week, and the last one for year. In this case, we're saying that the function should run every day at 12 p.m. This is actually in universal time, which you can think of as a single source of truth for time across the world. Puerto Rico is four hours behind universal time, so our function will actually run at 8 a.m., not 12 p.m., which is what we want. Finally, our function is now ready to be deployed to AWS Lambda. This is really simple, you just have to run serverless deploy, and once that is finished, we're done. If you like, you can log in to your AWS account and then head over to the Lambda service to take a look at the deployed function, and you can also trigger it manually to check if everything is working correctly. I've now been getting NASA's picture from space via text every morning for the last four days, and it's been pretty sweet. It's kind of funny because I often forget I have this running and it always catches me by surprise. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Leave a comment down below if you end up building this too. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this from me. See you guys in the next one. Peace.